Morning and welcome back everyone to another Subi Shades video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Squad goals, Subi smiles to all of you. Thank you so much for clicking into the video and for joining me. Hopefully you have yourself something cold and delicious and a comfy chair. Will it on in. We've got new stuff on deck today and I'm thrilled to be showcasing and doing a small review. I did the unboxing um, before we started so you guys could see it. I have not used this. This is the first time I'm getting this out out ultra this is also known as other is a new set being dropped by um doug and keep in mind this is a re-release of something he got rid of a long time ago re-release ultra guys take a look at this look at the label the label is so cool we've got the splash to go with it oh, i'm so excited to be doing this um discussion and review it is a scent that is really um, familiar to me it's a foie base guys it's, a, it's kind of a foie base but then on top of that, he's built something that is so modern and so light and complex. It's beautiful. So I have the notes by, um, right in front of me. It's got tonka bean, rose, geranium, pedigree, bergamot, lavender, pine. Uh, it's got fir. It's got juniper. It's got bamboo, cedar wood, Haitian oak moss, uh, Haitian vevetier, rosewood, purple sandalwood. It's got hay absolute. Okay, it's got a lot of stuff in here. And when I start digesting the scent, what I really get out of this, for me personally, is the lavender is so uplifting on top of the um, foie gras notes that it, it kind of pairs like really well with the sandalwood scent. Beautiful scent. When you combine the lavender with the sandalwood, it almost becomes like a younger, more um, youthful scent to me, at least to my nose. It doesn't smell like a really strong foie gras uh, or like a heavy um, musky scent. It's like lighter and clean. I am in love with this. This is almost, it's almost aquatic. It's slightly sweet. It's very light. It is not overly floral and it smells so nice. Seriously, a banger, an absolute banger. I'm thrilled to be using this with you guys on channel today, and I'm so excited because it's just releasing. Click into the, um, the description below, and you can go to his storefront, and that helps my channel out just a little bit. It doesn't cost you guys anything, but you can go get Ultra. It's going to release this weekend, and it's absolutely bomb. It's it's fantastic. I'm I have no words other than it's fantastic. It smells young to me. I love this. Not all of Doug's scents really resonate with me. This one absolutely does. I really like this quite a bit. And on top of what I really like, what we uh, have in my PAA Moonscape Scuttle, right? I want to show you guys how why I like this stuff so much. We've got Jeremy's brush, right? This is a mountain hair shaving. I'm using the space brush again. I really, I can't put it down. I love it. Take a look. You know, it's, it's decent. I would say it's good. I would say it's definitely up there. Look at this! Oh, that is soap for all you non-believers. That is hydrated, slick, and beautiful. Look at this! Look at it! We're just, it's so much soap. And I know a lot of you right now are watching this. You're thinking to yourself, why do you have so much soap? It's always like so, it, for me, CK6, it, you can build such a strong, heavy, and very slick lather with not a lot of soap. Look at this! Oh, I always forget. Every time I pick up a CK6, I'm just like, this is the stuff. Love it. Doug, thank you so much. I want to take a moment, a shout out to Huck's friend and Doug for making this happen. Oh, I'm I'm just absolutely blown away. And I'm so excited. I, honestly, I, I consider them all friends. And yeah, this soap, man, is really what, in my opinion, kept my head nice and protected while I was learning how to shave. Really love CK6. Again, awesome stuff. We're going to be using, and I want to showcase this, the PA um, soap holder on the door, guys. Are you guys seeing this? I'll, pull, I'll put a picture down below of how it looks. It holds the soap so good. I can get two soaps and the splash in there. Or two soaps and the um, the little pumper bottle. Or I got an EDT in there with I, the trifecta. Fits perfectly. Fits solid. I love it. You know, I, I just really like being able to organize all my PAA soaps in one place. Oh, it's great. The hangers, oh, you can't see them here are um, metal and there's four of them so that display it kind of pushes the weight across the door it holds really nicely but it also is really close to the door so when it, the other doors are closing and shutting next to each other they don't rub i am i'm really liking this awesome awesome product i did reach out to doug we talked back and forth these are using a mesh um, these are using a mesh so you can see through them it's not a plastic and it's going to make it so that the plastic i guess can wear off labels and ruin tubs Whereas this nice, soft mesh material can't. 
which is really nice actually because you can put some pressure on it it stretches really really cool product loving this awesome 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 organization tool and it's one that i didn't have so i'm really excited about it okay guys the razor we're using today i want to mention this this is from my buddy john and i am borrowing it this is not mine we're using a genuine psych tech this is a psycho tech this is an ins uh one of the razors that would have been used to shave patients right in site in, in, in clinics and wards really cool historic piece here and it has the little key now this key is a replication piece because i found out apparently there was only one key made for like the eight razors in the box or the 10 razors in the box i am not a professional here i don't know how they, they, they shipped one key with a lot of razors that went to the different wards and so the keys are hard to find so matt at re makes replication keys this is a replication key, but this is a psychotech as it's commonly referred to. I don't think that's probably politically correct, but that is what they are referred to in the community. This is a tech razor that I've never used, and it is because it does have a little teeny tiny nut in the top of there, a little bit heavier than a standard pre-war tech. So you guys can look, these are two techs side by side, right? This would have been used to shave inmates with, this one not so much. And this does lock down, so you can't get that cap off without the actual key, without having that little fitting right there. Really cool, awesome piece of history. And again, thanks to my buddy John for making this happen. I am really excited to get the soap off and to use a tech to do it. Ah, we've got ourselves um, some... Uh, we use nasets today because I bought a bunch of them for eight bucks and I'm just really, I really like the, the alligator. I mean, I think the Gillette nasets are awesome. Let's knock it off really quick and see how it does. Oh, so one thing you'll notice about CK6 is that it is consistent. There is one thing that you can always know about um, Doug Soaps is you're not going to get an off batch or something that's different about his batches. They are consistent. They're always the same. So even if you're getting a different scent, you know the performance you're going to get out of that set. And I really, really love that CK6. It's just so slick. It's slick and hydrated and very protective. Lather beard away. We've got to ourselves 26 hours of growth here. So not an unreasonable amount of growth. This is a post-war. So this is not a pre-war tech, even though the handle is a fat tech handle. It is a post-war head. And so it is extraordinarily mild. This is one of those razors for me that is um, as mild as it is efficient. It's very interesting. I really like the um, uh, post-war. I am a bigger fan of the pre-war tech personally, but that doesn't make this not just a fantastic shaver. It's quick. It is fast. My buddy, um, when I was talking to John, he said is a person that had never used one of these, what fascinated him is the key doesn't stay in there, right? You don't leave the key connected because it would have had to come off while they were using it. So I, th I actually found that really interesting too. I never thought about the key not coming or staying inside of the handle. The key actually comes out and then the handle is actually, um, it is hollow. So if you're curious about the razor itself, it was found in New York. It's kind of cool. It was found in upstate New York in an antique store. And if you want to just be really jealous, it was found for $2. My buddy said he got it for two bucks, two clams. Walked out of that place feeling like he had held them at gunpoint. Like he had robbed the bank. Two bucks for the, um, for the, for the tech, the psych tech, for the, for the, um, the piece of history that a lot of people search for. And it's very usually, if you're curious and you don't know, this is really an expensive, um, razor. Very, very expensive. Not because it's, um, different from the actual techs of old, but because of the history that goes behind it, right? This is, more of a uh, value within the razor rather than the value that it puts out as a shaver. It's it, not an intrinsic, it's more of an intrinsic value than an extrinsic value is what you could say. Really cool though, very good shave. And for me, it's again, it's a tech shave. It's hard to beat a tech shave. This right here is solid, it is smooth, it is efficient and it is whacking it down. Oh, again, massive shout out to John for making this happen. And to Doug for the soap. I am loving it. Absolutely beautiful. Atra. Atra, otherwise known um, as another way of saying other, apparently. Really cool. Really awesome. I want to talk a little bit about the label. The label is kind of cool. Um, it's like a nymph girl, right? The nymph sitting next to the um, water. I love it. I think it's awesome. Oh, what a beautiful. For me, it does not hit the Halloween-y scent. It's kind of like 
nice, light, summery. It reminds me of like, you know, just being clean. It smells like a getting out of the shower, that foie gras mixed with lavender. I never found a lavender scent that I just loved. I actually just absolutely enjoy that. It's super nice. And the more I'm using it, you know how you kind of, as you shave, you get other notes. The more I use it, the more that lavender just comes up and it mixes with some like the sandalwood and the uh, really green notes. Like it's got some really green, beautiful notes to it. Oh, I'm loving that scent. Really nice. At first I had a hard time with picking up any notes. You know what I mean? Like really, I couldn't decipher. They all smelled like very harmonious. And as you use it, it kind of breaks down a little bit better. Oh, I really like it. The rose water in this is great. It does have rose water in it. And I think that's like, it kind of pairs really well with some, it also has a seaweed note in there. A seaweed note that kind of gives it this aquatic kind of green smell. It's really, it's very nice. I am enjoying this thoroughly. Very good. And again, this is going to be a fairly mild um, shave. Definitely one more pass than I usually would do with the post-war. But it's going to be awesome. So we're going to enjoy it, right? We're going to enjoy that. That's It's so much fun to use something that's like this, right? Because it's just like, it's, it's a time capsule piece. It's a piece that really you would only get to use if you were collecting, right? And it's, it's a fun piece to even get to hold in my hands. I hope you guys really enjoy that. I think it's really cool. I think it's kind of mind-blowing, right? It's psychic. It's, it's just crazy. It's great. It, you could say it's crazy. I really like it. I think it's cool. The ho hollow handle, in my opinion, it probably does not shave quite as good as my post-war or my pre-war. But again, it's a post-war head. So you kind of, I went into it expecting it to be a little less efficient. Oh, just a titch less efficient. Really good razor. More than sufficient to knock down a lot of stubble and get that BBS finish. Oh, great shave. Again, I still am going to just, I'm, I'm going to say again, I really do love the tech. I just absolutely love this thing. Love the tech razor for a head shave. It usually can be found for very cheap, right? Unless you're looking for that one. It can be found for very cheap, very, very comfortable shavers, very common shavers. And they're common because they were mass produced because it was a razor that worked for a lot of people. Really good shave, really comfortable. Gonna wipe off and we're going to enjoy the post shave here of Atra. The post shave is just like any other CK6. It's fabulous, it's fantastic. No complaints from this bald guy. I can tell you that much, really nice. I'm gonna throw this flash on. We're gonna see how we did as far as um, any irritation, but I don't think we we're gonna have any. We had plenty of protection. The blades felt more than comfortable on the skin. Yeah, those Gillette Nace sets, nice blades, really nice blades, really comfortable. I would not say they're ultra sharp, but they're very smooth, very smooth blade, very comfortable. Oh, what a shave. Yeah, I really like that. It's just so balanced and very nice and like complex. It's a very deep scent that smells clean. Oh, I love that. Very nice. Awesome stuff. Really good stuff from Doug again. Wow, what a banger. What an absolute killer scent. And I'm loving that I get to display it. Oh, thank you guys so much for joining me. Hope you really enjoyed the shave. I know I did. It was super fun to use. Again, thanks to my buddy, John. And thanks to all of you for clicking into the video and for being here to support me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate each and every one of you. Seriously, from the my bottom of my little Subi heart, enthusiastically, let me just say again, thank you so much. It's genuine, I promise. And I can't tell you guys how, I, I, honestly, I couldn't do it without you. It really does mean the world to me that you're here throwing me some positivity and support. I uh, just thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next Super Shaves video. Before I start rambling, I'm going to get off the camera. Thanks guys again. I'll catch you in the next one. Soups out.